Hey everyone, CPO here, and I have had a request for a how-to tutorial on installing AFMF2 on the ROG Ally X, in my case. I think this is the same for the ROG Ally. It's, it's all the same. It's basically a Windows operating system, same chip set. Uh, so this is a tech preview, so it's not an official release from Asus but you can sideload it. So that's what we're gonna to do today. So I just did a search in Microsoft Bing for AFMF2 download, and you can see the top result is this RN, RAD, WIN, AFMF2 tech preview link. And I just clicked that. I will put uh, these links in the video description so you've got access to them without having to do a search. Uh, but I thought it would be helpful in case this link changes or the, the file changes. Anyway, so this takes you to the release notes for uh, the new tech preview. And if you scroll down, you will see a point where it says the AMD Software Adrenaline Edition Preview Driver for AFMF2 installation package can be downloaded from the following link, and it gives you a link. That's the link that you download the updated uh, driver. So uh, basically, I'm just going to click that link, and I'm going to save it somewhere on my file system. In my case, I'm just going to save it to my SD card, and that's where I usually put things that I wanna maybe hang on to. You can see I actually have it here from when I did it previously. So I saved that, and now I've got the driver. The next thing we wanna do is take care of installing said driver. But before we do that, I will show you my current situation. You can see what version of AMD software I have as well as uh, if I scroll over here to software and driver details, I can see the current driver, which is an official ASUS driver. That's in settings, by the way, in the AMD Control Center. If we go to gaming and graphics, you can see I have AMD Fluid Motion Frames. This is version one, just uh, as it comes from the factory. So now that you've seen that, what we're gonna do is change that. So what we're gonna do is double click on this software installation package we just downloaded. It's gonna ask you if you wanna make changes. You say yes, and then fair warning, this installation is gonna fail. We don't actually need it to install. What we need it to do is unpack all of the files that are inside of this installer package. So that's what we get when we run the install. It unpacks everything first, tries to do a basic install, says you're not compatible, no big deal. But if we go to our C drive, and then up at the top, you'll see there's now an AMD folder, which did not exist before. Within that is a software installer, there's a folder for packages, there's a folder for drivers, and there's a folder for display, and this WT6A underscore INF, and that's actually the INF file we're gonna install. We're not gonna install it directly from that file. What we're gonna do instead is long hold on the Windows icon, and then go to Device Manager. Once we open up Device Manager, you will see uh, Display Adapters. Click on that to open it up, and you will see AMD Radeon Graphics. We're gonna update that driver by long pressing or right clicking. Go to Browse My Computer for Drivers. Then go to Let Me Pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Then we're gonna go to Have Disk. Trust me on this, this is the way to do it. And then what we're gonna do is browse to that location I just previously showed you in that AMD folder. So C, AMD, AMD software installer, packages, drivers, display, WT6A underscore INF, and down at the bottom that INF file, it starts with a U. We're gonna click open that, and then hit OK. And then up at the very top, it'll give you a list the very top says 780M graphics. That's the one you wanna click and then do next. And it will say, are you sure you wanna install this? Of course you do. And it's gonna install the drivers. And then what that's doing is replacing the factory installed display adapter for this new one. Now your screen is going to flicker on and off. Don't worry about it. That is expected behavior. And now you can see we, we have AMD Radeon 780M graphics instead of where it previously just said Radeon graphics. All right, now we need to do part two, which is install the AMD control software. So I'm gonna to go to 
uh, add or remove programs. I'm showing you a couple of different ways to get to things. Uh, I don't know what's easier for people, but I'm gonna go to the installed apps and look for the AMD software. Click the three dots and choose uninstall. That's gonna uninstall our original version of the AMD control center. This is gonna take a while. It's gonna take longer than you think. I actually sped this up. So don't worry about it. It will uninstall, hopefully. Uh, and then now what we wanna do is install the updated version. So we're going back to that AMD folder. C, AMD, AMD software installer, packages, drivers, display, WT6A underscore INF, and now into a folder called B407164, and scroll down till you find CCC2 underscore install. This is the updated control center. Install that. This is gonna take a while. You're gonna think it hung up. Don't worry about it. It takes a while, and even once it gets done extracting, it's gonna sit on this execute section for a while. Don't panic. It probably didn't freeze. It's probably actually doing things. You can probably click show details and it will show you uh, what it's actually doing. All right, once that is done, you can close that out. And then what I would do at this point is just go ahead and restart your computer. Once you've restarted, your Armory Crate will obviously load if you still have that set to load on startup. And then your new AMD Control Center will also load uh, upon startup. And you can click down here uh, in the taskbar and choose Open AMD Software Adrenaline Edition. And you will now see that we have updated software. If we go to Gaming, Graphics, scroll down, you can see we now have AMD Fluid Motion Frames 2. So that's the end goal. And then also if we go over to settings, you can see updated AMD software, Adrenaline Edition version software. And then same thing if we go over to the software and driver details, we've got an updated driver version. So that is it. That is installing, or I guess side loading as people like to call it, the uh, AFMF version two from AMD on the, on the ROG Ally X. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.